All right, guys, every now and then, excuse the post, can't do nothing about it. I wanted to get you on this angle. Every now and then, I'll get a question about the Dillon 1050 versus the Dillon 650. And where the Dillon 1050 really shines is loading rifle ammunition. Uh, otherwise, I do believe that the 650 is better for pistol ammunition. Well, I want to take you through, a lot of people say, well, what about trimming? What about swaging? What about, you know, to make good quality? Some people say, well, I don't bother trimming, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm going to show you how to make one round the correct way, start to finish, including every step, um, because you do have to take it off the press, either to check it or to trim it, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. But I have a piece of brass here, it's got a spent primer in it, and I'm going to drop it in the top there. Now the first station you're going to go to is the, um, prime, is the, the sizing station. Okay. At this point, all we're going to do is we're going to decap and size our brass, right? The next station that it goes to is the swaging station. Right here is where I take the case out briefly. I've removed the little tab and I've got a chamber checker and I drop it in there and I check it. And if it's high and it's low, it's good. I mean, if it's higher than the low part, but lower than the high part on my chamber checker, it's good to go. I don't do anything to it. Um, I do have a Little Crow Gunworks uh, trimmer on a drill press in there. At this point, if it's long and I want to go trim it, I'll go trim it. You may have a handheld trimmer or something nearby. You can take it off and trim it. Okay, so this, this, the length is good. We check that after we size. Going back into the swaging station, now I'm going to just continue, right? So we've swaged our primer pocket. So now we don't have to worry about NATO brass or anything like that. Now we're at the priming station. Everything on a 1050 works on the downstroke. On a 650, you have to push the primer in. On a 1050, everything primes. So now I'm at the powder station. Um, before I drop powder, I can inspect my, my case. I can look at my primer. Now this is if you want to make very, very high quality ammunition, but at a pretty quick pace. Okay, at this point, I can set the brass on my scale, right? And stabilize. I can zero that out. And now this is a this is a this is one of those things that you don't really have to do if you're trying to make really high quality ammunition you may want to do this. Now I'm going to drop powder. Okay, once I drop powder, I've got my powder check station that I don't have set up. I'm just going to pull it off, check powder um, my powder weight, and I'm dead on the powder that I want. If it was over by a margin of error or under by margin error, I'd stick it back in as well. But I just happen to be dead on. If it's too high or too low you want to dump it and set it back in. That's one reason you're making one round at a time. I know it seems very, very slow, but it's very, very quick versus, you know, single stage or doing this in a lot of other, other methods. But I'm dead on, so I'll take that case, put it right back onto my powder check station, and um, now it's going to go up and kind of do nothing. It advances forward to my bullet, seat my bullet, and then forward to the crimp. And I always like to let the round get, um, but there you go. So we've got a Sierra 69 grain bullet in there with the exact amount of powder that's sized, trimmed, and ready to go. That round right there is a very, very high quality round, but I kind of wanted to show you now, when you're trying to do in bulk, I will admit that it's sometimes it's faster to, to size all your brass, swage all your brass, maybe put it back in there, pull those off, and just prime and load and go. It might be. But I just wanted to kind of show the basics of each step and sort of how you take it off to trim if you have to trim or to check it or what have you. And that's, that's how it's done, folks. Um, all the setup and everything, <clears throat> once you get all the setup done, does take a little while to get the setup done. But once you get your setup, it can really, really pay you back at that point in time. Now I've got this um, little bit of uh, lube that's still on the case. Very important to lube your cases. I can take and um, shine that baby up. And now I've got me a beautiful, beautiful, eh, semi-match grade round. This round probably go for close to a dollar um, if you bought it new. And I don't have near that much in it. You guys, y'all take care. And be good.